From ABC News, World News Saturday, here's Carol Simpson. Good evening. The Democratic leadership of the House of Representatives, already shaken by the expected resignation of Speaker Jim Wright, is in even deeper turmoil today. California Congressman Tony Quello, the party's number three leader, has announced that he will leave Congress to avoid facing an ethics investigation of his own. The latest from Sheila Cast. Majority Whip Tony Quello, the third-ranking Democrat in the House, stayed behind closed doors today, I'm leaving it sure. to a party colleague to explain Quello's decision to quit. I absolutely believe, without any doubt, that Tony Quello was uh, uh, absolutely confident that he would prevail, that he has done nothing wrong, uh, that the Ethics Committee would uh, make that determination. The scrutiny for which Quello, who has served 10 years in the House, was bracing, would have focused on his personal finances, especially the purchase three years ago of a high-yield junk bond. A California savings and loan executive bought the $100,000 bond, held it for a month while Quello arranged financing, then helped Quello borrow $50,000, a loan which Quello failed to report as required by House rules. Quello's Republican counterpart said he was stunned by the Whip's decision, but offered his own theory. First, that he probably knew there were more stories coming about more areas. And second, that he sat down in a very tough-minded way and looked at the cost of a year-and-a-half investigation on the Jim Wright model and decided that it was a no-win situation. Gingrich offered no explanation of what other disclosures might come. Speaker Wright, who has been charged with 69 violations of House rules, is widely expected to resign soon and is sure to be replaced by Majority Leader Tom Foley of Washington. It isn't a house cleaning. I mean, we're, we're having here a, a decision of an individual member of Congress. The downside to all of this is that we have a hypermania over personal ethics right now. Quello had been expected to run for Foley's job. Now the front runner is Missouri's Dick Gephardt, a former presidential contender. Although other leaders, including Michigan's John Dingell, Georgia's Ed Jenkins, and Indiana's Lee Hamilton, may take another look. Those running to replace Quello as whip, including Bill Gray of Pennsylvania, David Bonnier of Michigan, and Beryl Anthony of Arkansas, were already rounding up votes today. Reeling from the loss of two of their top three leaders, House Democrats can only hope these departures will leave them stronger by the 1990 elections. Sheila Cast, ABC News on Capitol Hill. Representative Coelho has represented California's 15th congressional district for the past 10 years. Located in the state's Central Valley, Coelho says he will give up his seat on June 15th, his 47th birthday. As Bonnie Struss reports, the news shocked his constituents. <laughs> As the train roared through the town of Merced this morning, residents' thoughts were on a favorite political son whose career had become derailed. All of a sudden, it's kind of like a bombshell drops. You know, you lose part of your, your uh, respect for politicians. It was also a big topic at the local barber shop. I've met him, and it's just sad to see a political career end so quickly. At the local barbecue, the breakfast conversation was about Coelho's resignation. The reactions range from disbelief to disappointment. If you made a mistake, so what? It's not anything that's going to kill anybody. But Martha Gordon had no sympathy for Coelho or any politician. I think some of them think they're mightier than we are, you know, and that they have the, that they have the right to do that. They think they can get away with it. Coelho grew up in the San Joaquin Valley, the son of a farmer. And despite his celebrated career in Washington, some still remember him best as the young farm boy. He came up the hard way, and uh, I've talked to him a lot of times, and uh, just as friends, and uh, he's just a common, everyday fellow. Before entering politics, Quello had planned to become a priest, but he was rejected from the priesthood because he had epilepsy. He says that illness has given him a great deal of inner strength something that will no doubt help him in the months ahead. Bonnie Strauss, ABC News, Merced. Joining us now are Jim Wooten, congressional correspondent for ABC News, and ABC special correspondent, Koki Roberts. Koki, first of all, the departure of the number one and number three Democratic leaders in Congress, what is that going to mean for the Democratic Party? Well, it's not going to mean anything good in the short run, certainly. Democrats are clear to be embarrassed about this, and I think that for them to really get any kind of edge back on these ethical issues which they started talking about in the first place during the Reagan administration that they're really going to have to get out front on a whole package of reform legislation that this Congress is talking about really say that they're the people cleaning up the Congress. 
And Jim Wooten, what are the differences between the Quelo and Wright cases? Well, basically, it's the differences uh, between two men, one of, a, uh, one of a new generation of politicians, one of an old generation of politicians. Jim Wright has struggled on and fought on because uh, he never quite understood what Tony Quello clearly understands, and that is that the political fight is either won or lost very quickly. It's a great deal like the Shakespearean tragedies in which uh, a man of great prominence and power is uh, brought down and never quite understands why. That's Jim Wright, but Tony Quello understands. Thank you very much. From Capitol Hill, Jim Wooten and Cokie Roberts. In a moment, the latest on student demonstrations in China's capital.